Kobe passed, I um, it was such a crazy. Even now, like just thinking about it, it's still it's still something that I'm I'm trying to process because it was just like he was such a, a a hero and an inspiration to me personally. I'm such a big basketball fan, and um, just being able to really witness his career from start to finish, literally, and and see his progressions, his ups, his downs, his resiliency. Like it's something that I built off of in my lifetime. You know, Mamba mentality is a real thing. It's a uh, something that he influenced an entire generation of, of kids without even knowing it, just through putting his head down and working. And um, when I had the opportunity to do this piece, I wanted to try to tell a story of his entire life in one painting. And it's hard to do that, um, obviously. So I took my time with it. Uh, I took probably about a month and a half, two months, just putting it together um, aesthetically and trying to figure out what the best way to illustrate that would be. Um, I always kind of looked at Kobe like a superhuman, like a superhero. So, you know, the comic book theme instantly popped into my head. And um, so I tried to detail a few images that I felt like really were iconic in my mind, because when I think of what Kobe was, he was an icon. Um, and I wanted to depict that. So I did five images for his five championships, but I went images that I felt like really defined him in my mind, you know, uh, him with the championship, his parents not being there, that entire story, and just him being at the pinnacle of life and still not being happy. Um, I think it was a major turning point for him. Um, this one right here where he had the broken hand after the finals and he was still out there shooting free throws, I think that just speaks to his resiliency. Um, that killer Kobe stare, man, you know, when you saw that, you saw him bite that jersey, you knew what time it was. Um, and the Black Mamba, I think, you know, that's that's just self-explanatory. I had to include one of him actually playing ball, of course. Um, and this one, I actually wasn't sure I was going to do, but I'm really glad that I did end up doing. Um, obviously, Gianna being a part of the helicopter crash, the other members of the helicopter crash made it more tragic. And um, I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure that I wanted to get into that. Um, I recently just had a daughter. Uh, she's four months, so, you know, it hit me a little differently just not only seeing, you know, one of my heroes pass on, but to see his daughter pass on, too, in such a tragic way. So I knew, knowing myself, if I was going to put Gigi in it, that I would have to do it in a certain way, and I wasn't sure if I really even wanted to go that route, but I chose this image as opposed to the millions of other images out there just because I think it depicts what you know, a father and a daughter's love is. Um, you can't really fake this emotion. It was just a candid photo, but, you know, just her grabbing his face, him winning the championship, um, that moment in time, them just them locked in on each other. And I, I really wanted it to focus more on Gianna as opposed to Kobe. So that's why the hat is, you know, pulled down across his face. It's not really focused on him. It's definitely more focused on her. This has always been an image to me that just between the jacket, the vibrant colors, things like that, that's always stood out in my mind. And um, I wanted to play on that and make it really pop. So the black and gray contrasting with the color was definitely something that um, subconsciously I, I kind of knew I wanted to do going in because I wanted it to be something that it draws your attention instantly. And um, those contrasts, you know, I, I've found they always work. Uh, making it into an actual you know, putting comic book panels. That was something that I also, you know, I've thought about and I took my time and really tried to um, decide what the best way to be would for that. Originally, I wanted it to just be four straight down the middle. But um, like I said, I tried to make sure I got five in there just to represent the number of championships he has. So changed some things up. But I mean, as far as really thinking out my pieces, I'm, I'm very happy with this one. I feel like I... I did everything that I tried to do. I can't really say that there was anything else I would have done differently. I feel like I, I did it justice. I hope I did it justice. And um, I really just tried to tell a story um, of somebody that I didn't know personally, but meant a lot to me. And, um, you know, he's definitely going to be missed. And uh, things really ain't been the same since, man, for real. But 
you know, we miss you, Bane, R.I.P. Gianna, everybody else in the plane crash. Um, man, it's crazy, but, you know, it's nothing but love. You know, I just tried to show tribute the best way I know how, and that's getting these paints off.